Hello everyone. I'm glad to have you back. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. And today we're going to get started right away with a 10 by 20 inch canvas. We're going to be doing a Dutch pour. I'm going to be using a um, yellow base. It's actually a metallic base mixed with Voltron water. It's a Artist Loft Lemon uh, Yellow Metallic. And we're going to go ahead and just start putting these color, this base color down. And we'll take and let's use a blow dryer today to blow this out. Just see real quickly. with this smoothing it over and I'm going to be using some colors in terms of the color uh, that we add to the design that I haven't used before so I'm kind of excited to see what kind of outcome we get this of course is new to me with the lemon yellow color haven't used a lot of different background colors. Black and white are typically my go-to colors. Although here lately I've mixed blues and lavenders and other nice combinations. And this yellow is something we thought we'd give a go. This is a little different. colors used today are mixed with flow troll and water and um, we are going to be laying them down to create a Dutch pour that hopefully will come out in an amazing way because we are excited about experimentation and it's all about learning what does work and what doesn't work and you don't you won't know unless you try it out so that's what we're trying trying to do today see what works and start with our torch so we can torch up our colors our bubbles rather and look for any distortions that may interfere with the flawless design okay we'll set the Lemon yellow side and make sure certain that we got our paint all the way around. We will list the colors used in this design as usual in our description box below. So if you miss something, you can refer it back to it. Okay, so joining us for our party today, we have a little low level here. Get this as level as possible all the way across. This is quite a lemon looking color. It's one of those things that you look at and it almost makes you smell lemon just looking at it. So, it'll be interesting to see how well that dries. All right, I think we're better. We're, we're in a better position now to go ahead and pop our air bubbles and make effort to lay our colors down. Let's do that. Joining us today, we are going to be using 
as I stated, colors that I hadn't used before and wanting to see exactly how they might um, work with our design. We have our, whoops, not the one I'm looking for. We have our permanent blue violet by Amsterdam, permanent red violet by Amsterdam, a Liquitex cadmium yellow medium hue, and a Liquitex basics hooker green. So we are going to look at getting, I think we'll start with just some hooker green. Okay. And we are going to go with our permanent blue violet on top. We'll do our permanent red on top of that. And then the medium, yellow medium hue on top of that. Really pretty colors. Definitely want to wrap back around with some permanent. Blue violet. I think we need a little more in this area here. Just want to ensure that we have enough color of each of these. And this is smaller canvas. We want to be sure we have enough paint on the canvas to move. Okay. I think I'll also add um, just a touch of the white. This is our sloth political white. And we want to see where this takes us, I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow. This yellow is a combination of Artist Loft Blue Acrylic White and the Artist Loft Metallic, Yellow Metallic. So, all right, here we have our torch that looks really pretty laying down. So let's see what we can do as we blow it out. to improve upon this not that it's bad but it it's these are going over and that's okay over the side but this is kind of faded out in terms of the coloring and I would I know I can do better on that so I would like to try I love 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 this this color combo is just unbelievable also you can see underneath there those colors could come out more we could blow those out um, 
It's just having had more paint on there. It's, it's just the extra paint that you can see. Um, I'm going to take just this part off because I want to improve on that. Not because there's anything wrong. It could stay and be just amazing. Some people might like it just like that and are going, what the heck are you doing now? You just ruined that. But I think I can improve on it. And when you think you can do better, you got to try to do better. And that's just a general rule in life. But it applies in art as well. So I'm going to try to do better. Hopefully I can. Um, again, nothing is wrong with this. I'm, I'm loving, totally loving this color combination. Had no idea these colors would come together so nicely with this yellow. And it, much to my amazement, they have. I'm very pleased with that. These colors are absolutely amazing together and what they've done adding that little bit of white has also contributed to making for a nice 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 design here so just going to go back with some of the color we had in our baseline we have the hooker green we had the permanent Blue violet, which I love, love these colors. Love them better together now that I see them together with this yellow. And that's the permanent red violet, along with this medium hue yellow. And again, I'm going to put a little bit of white because you can see that white really just does an amazing job with highlighting um, this area. Okay. We're going to take our torch and torch these air bubbles here. My goal is to try to pull some of this out. Uh, maybe this coming this way and that coming that way. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Or I may end up going some in. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. <laughs> design. I could blow this over and this may be a little bit more um, to get some of that yellow out. Um, I'm just debating on that but because it'll dry it'll look like that versus looking dark and red. Popsicle stick here and see what we can do with this to capture some of this excess paint. I want to really make certain that we keep this design intact as much as possible. Um, this area here, I'm I blew it out a little bit more than I wanted to. I may just go back in and put some more color there. I can leave it just like this because it kind of matches the top of these two pieces here. So I just may do that. I just may leave it alone, let it go.
What I actually really like is that this piece and this piece now look very much alike. Got a lot of paint here, so I'm trying to move around it, moving the canvas. I will definitely use this color palette again. I'm pleased at the outcome and um, very, very um, surprised at the same time that the colors did such a great job of coming together. Um, you never know until you really try. I mean, unless you're really looking at a color palette with these colors. I just put mine together just by what I think might work. I'm not using any predetermined color palette, which is not a bad idea and it's very helpful, especially if you have a difficult time with matching up colors. It's definitely a, a nice tool to use and guide to follow. So certainly not anti color palettes. Well, let's bring you in for a close up because I think you are going to be amazed. I am. Okay, here we are everybody. Close up time. And you can see this is what I've been looking at during the time I put this together. Amazing. Look at the richness of those colors. That hooker green, the permanent blue and red violet, also that deep medium hue yellow oh so so pretty together and this is all on a metallic yellow base again i will list these colors in the description box below should you desire to refer to them they'll be there i am very much liking this piece i hope you do as well it looked like it came out very nicely. Something I will seriously consider trying again. Turn these lights off just a minute and you can really get up close and see cells in there. You can see how really rich those colors are and how they make, the yellow background makes it just really pop. So cool. Look how pretty those colors are amazing pretty 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 i like 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 hope you do too if you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe because we want to make you aware of when we have our next video each and every time that we upload we want to get you involved be a part of our party have fun our celebrations each and every time we come together is such a, a wonderful treat you never know what we're going to get and sometimes we just get a whole lot more than we bargained for so thank you so much for joining us Look forward to having you view with us next time on our next video upload. And if you're interested in any of the art, please just email me at Anita White, love your art at gmail.com. Till next time, keep loving your art. Have a great day and be safe. See ya. Bye.